then there's other things on this land that are mysterious. We don't know why they're here or what they were used for. It's like you're in another world with all these ferns. Yep. Today we're in Groton, Connecticut. We're taking a walk through the woods up through the Gunji Womp historic site here in uh, Groton, Connecticut. This land is sort of in limbo. Um, some of it's now on private property, um, so we won't go there. Um, but the rest of it, we still are leading tours on and there's a lot to see. Um, some of the ruins are colonial, some of them are Native American, and some of them are pre-Native American. Um, and then there's other things on this land that are mysterious. We don't know why they're here or what they were used for um, or really what's going on. So there is a lot of mystery. Like you're in another world with all these ferns. Yep. Trail leading to Gunji Womp. It's getting really quiet back here. Kind of builds the excitement of finding this place. This area is a glacier rock drop. So the glaciers came in. This is where they dropped most of the rocks coming in and rolling down the hill up there. Pretty cool place. So this structure is what a basic house, um, about the basic size of a house would be here. Um, it's pretty cool, all made of stone. Uh, they found some coins here that dated back to the like, 1600s. Um, and they think that this was mainly a sheep farm over here. Thank you. 
claws are extra high, uh, which, especially when holding animals in, that would be important for protecting them against the wolves that were around back then. And the animals we're talking about again are sheep, most likely. Uh, now, the, the natural slope of the ground, which it could have looked differently back hundreds of years ago, but that slope would have helped this to self-clean and self-drain, uh, which just makes life easier on anyone uh, who's keeping animals. And then we also see that there's potentially one, maybe two um, smaller chambers within here, and those might be, again, birthing chambers within this larger pen uh, to help, you know, the expecting moms stay separate from the herd, but also well All right, now we're walking to the mysterious part, the, the mysterious part of the Gumby Womp Park here. This is going to be very interesting. of the sheep um, and what you do is you have a pole in the center here and another pole coming out with a wheel that would go in as well and you'd have either people or livestock that would walk it around and they'd be crushing um, acorns and things like that to get the tannins out of them uh, which would help then to tan the hides now the problem with that theory is that you need water and you need a lot of water to make that happen and the water is that way and really most of that water is from recent zebra activity uh, so to bring all that water up here to, to get the tannins out of these uh, nuts doesn't make a lot of sense um, also even though there's probably been some erosion and, and the land would have looked a little different this is very close to a cliff <laughs> And uh, one misstep and your livestock or your people who are doing things around here could fall off. So you think, why wouldn't they move it, you know, in a little bit more away from this cliff side? So that theory doesn't quite hold right. So we had some audio issues here, but she's explaining that this is from the late 1600s and used to be an ice box area for where they would store all their food. Let's see what it looks like inside. Wow, that was really cool seeing the inside of that and how those rocks were layered and for a potential, it could have been an ice house for them to store their food. Man, that was really cool. There, back then there weren't calendars. They didn't have, nobody had watches. You told what time of day it was by looking at the sun. You knew what time of year it was based on the weather. Um, but something like this to have a chamber with you know that light that comes through on the equinoxes it's a way for you to sort of have a challenge 
So again, this is another chamber that was found and it has a hole in the back that lines up with the Equinox for an automatic calendar. Wow. This is inside the chamber. So amazing. kind of lost the group <laughs> I don't even know where they are I'm trying to find them I think they're up here ahead found them We've got the wing here, and then it comes out with a, a beak and a head, and then the other wing here. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yep. And of course, it's on the tallest stone. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching this ancient Connecticut ruins video here in Groton, Connecticut. Please like, share, and subscribe and hit that bell for future Zeke Man notifications. Have a great day and thank you very much.